Johnny, we've gone toe to toe with the leaders here right at the end there, but nothing to show for our efforts. Yeah, frustrating, frustrating day because we give ourselves a, a, almost an impossible task really with the way that we started the game. Just uh, you can't do that. You can't start like that against a team like Port Vale, uh, league leaders. Um, give ourselves too much to do, and then we almost pull it off. Unbelievable way that we came back into the game. How we've only got two goals to show uh, is incredible, really. We've hit, we've hit the post, we've hit the bar, keepers pulled off two worldies, I'd say. Um, and ultimately, that's one of the game. So you have to give credit to the opposition because they started better than us. For 10, 15 minutes at the start of the game, they were certainly the better team. But I think for the, for the 80 or 75 after that, uh, I think we was the better team. Certainly in the second half, we was the better team. And, uh, they're top of the league, you know. They're on a run, unbelievable run, and, and we've seen today that we can that we can go toe to toe. But you know, I said that at Notts County last week. We had nothing to show for it, so we have to find a way of turning these performances and um, the chances into into something to show for it. Because you know, I'm sick of standing here in front of you talking about how well we played, but we lost away from home. Uh, but we are playing really well, and today bar 15 minutes and we was poor in that period so I'm not glossing that over you know we was we started the game terribly and it's not been like us but the recovery like you can you could go under 2-0 here you could you could fold and you go 5-6 five, five, you know you've seen that with what they've you know the players that they've got they're a really good team but we responded so well so well in the second half like I'm proud of, I'm really proud of the performance proud of the supporters the way that they they stuck with us, they cheered us off at the end like we won the game because they can see what we're doing and the effort that the boys are putting in, but we leave with nothing and that, that one stings. What do you put that start down to after all the preparation we go through? I, I don't know, like, it's hard, we, we've been really good, we haven't been conceding, we've been, especially away, we, we, we've been solid and tight early in games and, and play your way in, we were just loose, we were sloppy, we give the ball away, give the ball away in a bad area for the first goal and they're really good in transition, they counter uh, and, and go down a score from, from us having the ball. So it's sloppiness there, free kick, uh, sloppiness for them to go down and get the free kick outside the box, that came from our good, our, our possession. Um, and then we don't follow in from the free kick, comes off the post and, and, and their man reacts and we don't. So that bit's on us, that's the bit that we, that we have to look at. You know, we didn't we didn't do our jobs properly there. Um, but then after, after that, you know, we've, we've played really well. Played really well. Uh, it was a tough place to come. Well, in that first half, two good opportunities from both Omar and Matty immediately afterwards. Yeah, that's what I mean. We came straight back into the game. Matty hits the post, inside of the post, comes back out. That pretty much sort of sums it up. We're at away from home. Could easily drop in that. The keeper pulls off an unbelievable save, to be fair to him, from Omar as well, he's going top corner, he saves that. So we go in two down, really, we should be, we should be back in the game, uh, at 2-1. Um, and then obviously, second half, we pretty, much, pretty much all us, they had obviously some, some counter-attacks where, we, where we're piling forward, but, but all us, and we managed to sort of, well, we made an unbelievable game of it. Well, Josh gave us a lifeline, but you did warn us about the, the danger that Jane Stockley possesses. Yeah, listen, you can't leave him unmarked in the, uh, the middle of the penalty box. He's going to score, like, that's, that's what he does. Um, so, again, disappointed we get ourselves back in the game. Deservedly so. Great goal from Josh. Worked well through our patterns. Um, and I'm thinking that we've got, we got a great chance. And then <laughs> make it even harder because they go down the other end straight away and score. And Yeah, I haven't seen it back, but... I think we let. I think there's a runner that, that, that gets free, that's, that's not tracked, and then obviously Stockley. You know, you can't. You got to be tighter and, and make that more difficult for him in the penalty box because he's going to score. Um, so yeah, that, that 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 bit again disappointing from us. Um, but then we pile it on, we pile it on, and and somehow I don't get something from the game. Well, that was a great goal from Miles as well, particularly with the sun in his eyes. That was difficult all afternoon. Yeah, it's a great goal. You know, great. Obviously whipped into that dangerous area that's difficult for the goalkeeper to come, difficult to de defend because you're looking at own goals or it needs a little flick from, from one of our lads. So again, we're back in it and then uh, 
Yeah, I mean, how we don't score at the end there, obviously, Miles hits the bar. Keeper pulls off another worldie from, from Bawley, I think. Uh, another, another great block from, from Smudge. I can't ask any more of the lads in, in what they're giving, and we saw them at the end there, you know, they're, they're on the floor, aren't they, because, because of the efforts. It's, it's, it's hard when you put so much into a game uh, to, to, to get nothing, and especially when you feel like you deserve something. So, but there's so much, um, so much to take from it because Port Vale are a really good team. Um, I'll probably, you know, I'll go in see Darren and probably get told that we're the best team that they played again, which has happened a few times this season. Uh, so I know we're a good team, but we, you know we need to. When you play as well as that, uh, the league leaders, you got to get, you got to get some. You have to get some. Just finally as well, what was the situation with Joe Piggott this afternoon? Ill. He was unwell, so he uh, he didn't he couldn't train yesterday. His uh, sickness, yeah, sickness bug. So um, unable to travel with a group. Uh, yeah, so we just you know, told him to stay away. Hopefully he'll be okay. Uh, we'll touch base with him over the weekend. Hopefully he's all right for Tuesday. Johnny, thanks for your time. Right. Cheers, Rob.